I will say that I'm a mom's uh, daughter. Is that like a... You're a mom's daughter. No, I'm a, my mom. Oh, this is the claim that you're willing to make. Yeah. Okay, this could be fun. My mom is my mom, and I'm... I see. There's an individual who you call mom, mm -hmm. and you think that she's really your mom. Okay. We can explore that. So what do you think would be a good first question to ask your friend here about her claim? What makes you think that she's your mom? Excellent question. Because she gave birth to me? How do you know? Because she gave birth to me. Mm -hmm. How do you know that that's the case? Yeah. Great question. Um, she has pictures that she was carrying me when I was a baby. And um, mm. I have like body structures that like look like hers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm wondering how sure you are on a scale from zero to 100 that this is real and true. Yeah. Where 100% would be, there's no question in my mind, there's no doubt. And zero would be, all I have is questions, all I have is doubt. I'm 100% sure. You're 100% sure that the woman who you are calling your mom really is your biological mother? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think about her 100%? Um, I'm pretty sure that do you think a person could be 100% about anything? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Do you think there's any chance whatsoever that your friend could be mistaken? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what would be a good question to ask your friend here to gently challenge her claim that the woman that you think is your mom really is your mom? First, you say your body structure, right, is the same as your mom's and there is plenty of people in the world, and I'm pretty sure if you just go in a mall, you could get somebody who looks exactly <laughs> like you and put there, and they might think they look like their mom, your mom, right? So that, why does that make you, why does that make you think that, you know, you're your mom's daughter just because mm. of you? Great question. Can you repeat back her question to make sure that we conveyed it to you properly? Yeah. What do you think she just asked you there? Um, Cause like out there there's someone who looks exactly like my mom and I look exactly like them. So I mean, my mom may not be my mom cause I look like someone else's um, mm. daughter. Okay. And what do you think about her, her raising this potential monkey wrench in your hypothesis that you're 100% sure that this is actually your mom. She may be right, because I've been around people who look like me, <laughs> and people think that they're my siblings, or that's my mom or something like that, mm. you know? So her, her question has a little bit of merit to it. It might not be, I mean, we're not, I'm not trying to harsh your mom here or anything yeah. or, or your heritage or whatever, but I think it is a fair question. There are other people that could very well look like your mom. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was one of the reasons why you think that she really is your mom is because, well, she look, you have characteristics of her. Mm -hmm. And if there are other people that could have those characteristics, is that a really good justification for being 100% sure, you can't be mistaken on this, that she's really your mom? What's that? I say, it's not like a good justification. I say what? I'm, it's not a good justification. That's not a good justification yeah. for being 100% sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's revisit her level of confidence of being 100% sure that the woman who claims to be her mom really is her mom in reality. Do you want to ask her a question to challenge her confidence level now in a respectful way? Um, hmm. And you're being a really good sport here too, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my God, I don't know. Can you give me like a hint? How about something like, um, you mentioned that you were 100% sure and you couldn't be mistaken. Now that we've had this talk, where are you at now with regards to your certainty that this is true? Mm. Maybe something like that? So when he asked, 
on a scale to zero to 100, you're like, I'm 100% sure, right? Mm -hmm. But when I say that there are people who look like your mom and they, you could be their daughter instead of your mom's daughter. And you were like, oh, she's right. So are you still in the 100? I'm on 99.9%. <laughs> That. Okay. Or okay. 98. But like if I do a DNA and we have the same blood, then she's my mom. Okay, so it sounds like what what you were saying is that 100% certainty on this particular claim, even though it's fairly likely to be, to be true, 100% mm -hmm. certainty might not be the most accurate spot to be because of the very reason that your friend here mentioned. And then you were saying, well, I might actually find something that could bring me up to 100. Yeah. But now you, you got me wondering if it really would, because now I'm thinking if you did a DNA test, it could be an indication that there are other family members that could be the candidate and not really the woman who's saying that she's your mom. So I'm wondering, would that still, would that move you to a hundred, a DNA test? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> nah. No. So I, I really appreciate you thinking about it. And that kind of reflectful thinking is exactly what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. And moving off of uh, ledges of certainty, like I'm 100% sure that this is true. Well, after a few questions, you change your mind. maybe I'm willing to be a little bit more open to the possibility that I could be mistaken on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And I thought that was a really good example of, of how to go about doing that. Mm -hmm. And you were fantastic. You're a natural Thank at this, you. by the way.